All right, so we got a lot finished on the Corolla there. Um, we're starting to work on the exhaust. Right now I'm uh, making the downpipe. I'm gonna cut this off. It's a slip fit. Uh, and then I'm gonna put a B band so I can connect these two. Um, and yeah, let's get it. Alright, just more welding. I'll show you it when it's on the car and done. Just, you know, lots of welding to do. So you'll see. Okay, bye. Alright, as you can see, we're all done. Got everything welded up. I'll uh, show you. We went for a side exit. Um, not really my style, but um, it was kind of just... Uh, it's not the only way it'll work, but for now it's going to be the easiest way. Um, because we're eventually going to change out our rear end and then we'll probably run our exhaust out the rear uh, but for now this will do us until we get that done but Yeah, and I'll uh, show you it installed on the car um, I do want to put some kind of resonator on the exhaust you can see oh my god oh. <laughs> the exhaust there it's just a straight pipe I mean not that bad but it is loud enough you know so I'd like to put a resonator on there. Um, there's not really enough room for a muffler, which kind of sucks. Um, but it's just kind of how it goes. The car wasn't really made for a three-inch exhaust. Okay, so we just marked uh, where we're gonna cut out our exhaust, so we can put this guy in there. Um, and no, I'm not cutting it at the. Okay. We just marked uh, where we're gonna, or where this is gonna go. So we're not gonna cut it on the lines, but we know where it's gonna sit. So, you know, we got about two inches there, and then I had to cut this one short because it was kind of jacked up. Um, and then we'll just slip it in there, and then uh, we'll have to put it back together, slip it on, so that we know um, that everything's still, you know, one side's not hanging down and looks stupid. So we'll get to cutting and see what happens. Okay, so we got it in there, and we're just looking uh, for symmetry, I guess, to make sure that everything is still level and straight to the frame rail, which it was never exactly just a hair off, so it's still around that area, um, relatively level there, and then right here, it follows along and kicks out, um, so it looks good, so I'm going to get the TIG over here and uh, tack it real good so it doesn't move when I pull it off to weld it because that's the worst but uh let's do it all right we got it tacked on the car in three places so it should have should have moved uh, we'll tack it in that poor spot try to ensure it doesn't try to pull and uh, yeah we'll weld her on up Alright, we got her in there. Uh, so I'll weld it up. As you can see, it's, you know, there's no room for a muffler or anything like that. It's about the best we can do. But uh, it should quiet up a little bit. Um, yeah, looks good to me. Alright, howdy do. We got a few things going on today. I'm gonna try to get this, well, I'm not gonna try. We're gonna get this downpipe uh, good and solid. Oh, uh, we got few other things we'll touch up on when we get there but uh, we'll start by welding this guy up Alright, so 
We're gonna do a little uh, spindle swap. Um, and we got some T3 lower control arms. Pretty excited. Um, so the reason we're doing a spindle swap is because I have got some wheels that I've just had for ever. Uh, I'll show them to you in a second. And the they are at 4x100, which is kind of weird for a rear-wheel drive wheel, uh, wheel combo. Uh, I think like Miatas might have that, but not. I think that might be it. I don't even know. Um, so I got some Mirage spindles. I think they're 90 around that area. Um, and then what we can use is DSM uh, front brakes and um, coilovers. So that'll be in a later video, but for now we're going to get all this set up, put in there, and uh, I'm going to whip the old stuff out, and then we will get to it. These holes are so perfectly tight. It is a real pain to get these in. Um, probably also the powder coating too, but they don't go in, you can see. Right. There's that, and then we'll have to do some measuring, try to center everything up. But we'll also have to see what it looks like with the wheel um, so we really know what's going to be centered. Um, and then if you're wondering, these, oh, yep. these Mitsubishi uh, spindles are the same taper as the uh, Toyota, so that's pretty lucky. Um, and I mean, I doubled, I had checked that before I had ever even considered it. That was the whole reason I chose these particular ones. But uh, yeah, there's that. Um, need to get coilovers. Um, probably have to get a custom set uh, just because the weight of the car is going to be so different compared to a normal, like a DSM or whatever. So I have all the corner weights and everything like that. So. Once we uh, get some coilovers, then we should be good to go. There she is. Right, so we got our Mitsubishi Mirage uh, spindles. The reason we chose these is because they have a 4x100 uh, lug pattern, and that will fit a set of wheels that I have that I want to use. And we machined uh, the old CV axles and uh, just cut them and cleaned them up, made it look decent. So that'll slide in and hold it all together. And I'll show you what it looks like on the car. 
All right, here's the wheels. These are Motegi uh, MR224s, I think. Uh, like I said, I've had these forever. I like the way they look. I think they look good on the car. Uh, we just gotta make it happen. All right, sorry about the mess, but we just got done painting these, cleaning and painting these calipers. These are uh, uh, Mitsubishi Outlander calipers. I don't know if I already said that, but that's what they are. Uh, I just painted them. Some this is just paint I had. It's a uh, the only high temp paint I had. Not sure if that actually matters, but there it is. So I'm gonna uh, put them all back together, grease them, put pads, and slap them on the core. All right, and there it all is. See, uh, we have this strut in there. It doesn't fit though. It's just there for mock-up um, until I get a set of uh, coilovers. I think I'm, I'm just gonna do uh, the Bilstein Universal uh, coilover or um, strut coilover setup. Um, Cause I could get a set. Well, I actually not. I could. I tried uh, a few different companies, and these suspension companies just seem to be. The most difficult to deal with. I mean, I, g I gave them corner weights of the car, everything, and they like, hey, just build me this uh, front <laughs> front uh, coil over, and it's like they'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, no problem, and then I would never hear back from them, um, and then I'd hit them up again, and I just like nothing. So I was like, whatever, I can do it myself, um, but it'll take a little bit longer than cause they have all the parts. I have to get everything, and um, you'll see that later, I suppose. But yep, she's all there. Um, we got our. This would be a, a big brake upgrade for like a first gen DFM. So it should stop this car real well, considering it's so much lighter. It's like a thousand pounds lighter. Um, and if anybody was wondering what the car weighed, it's like 2,100 pounds with me in it. So she's pretty light. But, uh, until next time.